Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending my presentation. My name is Xin Yue Kai. I'm from University of California, Riverside. Today, I will discuss the field coverage method in unknown environments. Field exploration and coverage play an important role in tasks, including search and rescue, field monitoring, and bomb cleaning. It can be beneficial to replace human workers with autonomous robots for safety and efficiency reasons. As shown in the bottom figures, some ground and aerial vehicles have been utilized in data collection and exploration tasks, where complete coverage of an unknown field is required. However, challenges exist in several aspects. First, some vehicles, including wheeled ground vehicles and fixed-wing aircrafts, are under non-holonomic constraints. For these vehicles, Dubin's vehicle model can be considered to reduce redundancy and avoid repeatedly visiting the same area, the environment can be partitioned into subregions. In addition, these natural environments often contain irregularly shaped obstacles and unvisitable areas. Hence, online coverage method that requires limited prior information is essential. Exploration and coverage have been widely studied. One approach is random walk search. It can be impractical in real-world applications because it can require a large amount of energy to explore a reasonably large region and unnecessarily go over the same space multiple times. Another way is to use frontier-based approach. Robots proceed according to the boundary line between explored and unexplored space. The time and computational cost to determine the boundary line increase as the map expands. Other planners use some form of cellular decomposition such as bustrophedal decomposition to partition the free space into a set of non-overlapping cells. Some of these decomposition methods require prior map to be known. For those online ones, low more motions are usually applied within each cell. The generated paths by aforementioned methods may contain sharp turns, which can reduce efficiency and increase fuel consumption for non-holonomic robots. Overall, these methods require modification for Dubin's vehicles to use. In this work, we propose the Haskin Decomposition Coverage Planning Method, shortened as HDCP, to fill in the gap. This method is an online approach that guarantees resolution complete coverage in unknown environments. We also propose a variant HDCPE for fast exploration. In addition, we offer closed form solutions for planned passes for robots to follow at constant speed. The proposed method uses a hierarchical planning scheme. High level planning rests on the hex grid. Based on information collected from the robot's onboard sensors, the free space is decomposed into non overlapping hexagon subregions. Hexagon based partitioning enjoys several benefits, including regular cancellation uniform traveling distance to all adjacent cells, and a better description of non-convex regions. In addition, in a grid plane, the robot dynamically determines a sequence of subregions to visit. Low-level planning rests on Cartesian plan. A robot plans to be curve-based paths in real time to complete observation tasks and to move to other subregions. Consider a robot equipped with navigation sensors which can be LiDAR or depth cameras, and observation sensors, which can be RGB or thermal cameras. Navigation sensors are used to plan collision-free paths, while observation sensors are used to complete the observation task. Upon departure, the robot initializes two robot-centric frames. The placement of hex frame with respect to world frame is shown in the figure. The origin of hex frame and the world frame are set at the departure position. The size of the subregion is based on observation sensor footprint. In each subregion, the robot first enters observing mode to complete the observation task. In observing mode, the observation sensor is triggered. The robot follows a full circle path to achieve complete coverage within the subregion. In the figure, the robot's path is shown as red curve. The observation sensor footprint is shown in yellow. If a robot finishes observation task within a subregion, it needs to select the next subregion to visit. 
we seek to complete tasks within the unknown region efficiently. It is undesirable to leave any isolated sub-regions unvisited. The cost of coming back to fill a hole later can be avoided by finishing all nearby areas first before moving away. Hence, the strategy is as follows. At the robot's current position, if there exists unvisited, obstacle-free adjacent sub-regions, the robot will select the one with the most visited or occupied neighbors as the next sub-region. For instance, in the figure, green cells are already visited, orange cells are unvisited but visitable cells. The cells with slash pattern contain obstacles. S1, S2 are unvisited, obstacle-free sub-regions adjacent to the robot's current position. S1 has four visited or occupied neighbors, whereas S2 has two visited neighbors. Hence, S1 will be selected as the next sub-region. If all neighbors have already been visited or occupied, the robot will revisit a visited sub-region. This selected sub-region must be the nearest in the past sub-region with unvisited, obstacle-free neighbors. We use ASTAR algorithm to find the shortest collision-free path to the selected sub-region based on obstacle detection results using navigation sensors. In the figure, the red arrow shows the robot's path on hex grid. Robot passed S4, S3, S2, S1, then reached the current position. At the robot's current position, all neighbors have been visited. So the robot will select S3 as the next goal. Because S3 is the nearest in the past visited subregion with unvisited obstacle free neighbors. Once the next subregion is selected, the robot enters transitioning mode. Suppose at the end of the observation task, the robot is at position mu on the circular path in subregion SI. Let S next be the selected goal subregion in the previous step shown in orange color. The top figure shows the scenario when S next is adjacent to SI. In this scenario, we use a variable SJ to refer to S next. In the bottom figure, S next is not adjacent to SI. Then SJ refers to a subregion on a feasible path to S next. This feasible path is determined using a star algorithm. Hence, SJ is always adjacent to SI. Starting from position mu in SI, the robot moves to a position phi. This position phi is a tangent point between the circular path in the current subregion SI and the next subregion SJ. Then the robot follows the tangent line to move to SJ. This step continues until it reaches the selected goal subregion. The navigation sensor collects the information continuously during both modes to update the environment map. The plant path is smooth. It allows robots to follow at a constant velocity. In some scenarios, full coverage within subregions does not need to be enforced. In this case, the exploration process of unknown environments can be accelerated by combining observing and transitioning mode. In HDCPE, full circle passes are removed from plant passes to accelerate exploration of more high skin subregions. At the same time, Observation sensors are enabled throughout the process. The two variants reveal the trade-off between exploitation and exploration. HDCP guarantees resolution complete coverage of unknown yet bounded environments by visiting all subregions and achieving full coverage within each subregion, whereas HDCPE enables fast and complete exploration in terms of visiting all subregions. The proposed algorithm are tested in gazebo simulation and compared against bootstrap motions and ASTA search algorithm, the spanning tree coverage algorithm, and the multi-robot hex decomposition exploration algorithm for the single robot case. We consider three forest and farm lab environments. In each environment, 20 trees of two types are placed to approximate realistic intercropping agricultural field. We deploy the non-holonomic wild robot TurtleBot to cover the entire area with no prior knowledge of the environment map. The robot is equipped with a LiDAR as navigation sensor and a stereo camera as the observation sensor. To eliminate the influence of starting position, the robot is deployed from two different positions, 
center and the lower left corner. We ran 10 trials for each scenario to reduce the uncertainty in optical detection caused by online perception and odometry drift. This figure shows an example of planned passes and covered area for five algorithms in random environments when the robot departs from center position. In top panel, covered area is shown in white. In the bottom panel, detected obstacles are shown as red cells. Robot passes are blue curves. Our proposed method generates smooth passes for robots with non-holonomic constraints. The robot moves at constant speed throughout the process which enables better pass planning and sensor stability. In contrast, small areas can remain uncovered in both BASR and STC when the robot fails to follow planned passes exactly due to abrupt deceleration before turning. This table contains means and one standard deviations for the percentage of covered area over total free space, total algorithm runtime, and average exploration speed for each scenario over 10 trials. The results suggest that, regardless of departing position, HDCP covers the most area in all evaluated environments. While the uniform and inner environments bounded by square walls are more regular and structured, HDCP still outperforms the other evaluated methods that use the square grid discretization. In terms of exploration speed, HDCPE covers almost twice as fast as STC and the BA star in all environments from both departure positions. This result shows that the strategy of HDCP and HDCPE for selecting the next subregion is efficient in terms of exploring more unknown space. We also evaluate the performance of all algorithms in indoor space with a real turtle bot robot configured as in the simulation. The environment contains a truss, desks, and chairs as obstacles. We observe that HDCP and the BA star cover similar area. This result is expected since the experimental environment is mostly empty with obstacles lined up strictly in the middle. HDCPE has the highest average exploration speed, which is consistent to simulation results. In this work, we discuss an online coverage planning method, HDCP. It guarantees complete coverage in unknown obstacle cluttered environments. We also propose a variant, HDCPE, that achieves fast exploration. The proposed methods are evaluated in both simulation and real experiments against three existing online coverage methods. Our methods also perform in terms of both coverage area and exploration speed. Thank you for your attention. Our code for HDCP and HDCPE are available online. Please feel free to contact the authors if you have any questions.